Hello. So we just saw how to do the Fourier series of a periodic signal that is a square wave. And that enables us to, number one, see the spectrum, what are the sinusoids that make the harmonically related sinusoids that make that square signal, that periodic signal. Or we can also synthesize a square signal by adding sinusoidal signals. So let's do an octave MATLAB simulation here. If you recall, what we found was that we are going to have a spectral lines at the odd case. So what I have here is K1, and then there's one, three, five, seven, nine, etc. The AK coefficients that we found were of the form one over one times pi, then there's one, one over, one over, one over three times pi, one over five times pi, etc. And so what I have here, we are going to synthesize a periodic signal, fundamental uh, frequency of three hertz. I'm simulating this as being continuous by having a high sampling frequency. I'm not vectorizing, although you could do this much more efficiently by vectorizing some of the operations. I'm adding a for loop so we can do a simulation. And what you see here is that we are going to be adding those sinusoids with those amplitudes, one over pi, one over three pi, one over five pi, etc to see what we synthesize. So we have a single sinusoid right now, and the result. Now this is what happens when we have two sinusoids. Start looking already more square-like. Three, four, five, six. The third plot is the result. 7, 8, 9, 10, so I guess 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, as we keep increasing, it just gets better and better, as you can see. Of course, there is the gift phenomenon due to the discontinuity, but what you can see is that as we add sinusoids, we are able to create a square signal, which is what we solved. Now we can do any signal of any other form.